carbs. They've been both praised and punished, in part because they're largely misunderstood. When I say the word carb, you probably picture bread, rice, and potatoes, and you'd be right. But you'd be just as right if fruits or vegetables or brown rice popped into your head, and you'd still be right if you thought of sugar or honey or jam or even a glass of milk. That's because lots of foods supply carbohydrate, and it's a good thing too, because when it comes to keeping your engine running, carbs play an important role. So we get our carbs from a wide range of foods, but clearly some of them are healthier for us than others. That's why we sometimes talk about good or bad carbohydrates. The good carbohydrates are the ones we think of as being the least processed, foods like whole fruits, vegetables, dairy products, beans, and whole grains. Dairy products provide carbohydrate in the form of naturally occurring sugars. And these good carbs provide more than just energy to the body. They can provide us with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and natural antioxidants too. On the other hand, the highly processed refined carbs, foods like sugars, pastries, and white flour bread, cereals, and crackers, have little to offer the body beyond just calories. So it makes sense that we should focus on the good carbs as much as we can since so many other healthy nutrients tag along. Sometimes people ask me how much carbohydrate they should eat every day. It's not a simple question to answer. Not everyone needs the same amount because it depends in part on how many calories you burn every day and how active you are. Generally speaking, it's suggested that you get roughly half your calories from carbohydrate. But if you do a lot of extensive exercise, you might need a bit more. And if you cut your intake to much less than 50%, you run the risk of not having enough fuel to keep you going. You can estimate your needs fairly simply. If you need 1,600 calories a day, half your calories should come from carbohydrate, which would be 800 in this case. Since every gram of carbohydrate has four calories, this would translate to about 200 grams of carbohydrate that you should eat per day. But keep in mind that you could eat through your carb budget pretty quickly if most of your carbs are supplied by less healthy foods like desserts, sodas, white bread, crackers, and potato chips. So keep your eye on the carbohydrate prize. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, and dairy products should be the major sources of carbohydrate in your diet.